Let's look at the glycocalyx itself. Cells recognize each other by the structure of their ECM and also by several cell-cell recognition or adhesion molecules, uh, proteins or glycoproteins embedded in the membrane, that is, proteins that are part of the glycocalyx. One group of these proteins are called the selectins. They have the, the word lectin in them, and if you look closely, the selectins, here, there are a couple of them here, E-selectin, which is found in endothelial cells, P-selectin, which is found in platelets. If you look at the right side of these molecules, you will see that in a moment, in the animation, they are going to bind the glycoproteins in other cells, and here they are. So the selectins use their lectin moiety, their lectin domain, that's the right green domain at the right end, to recognize oligosaccharide sugars on glycoproteins on other cells. And that then is not only a matter of recognition, but causes the cells to adhere, to stick to one another. This process depends on calcium. Selectins can mediate coagulation or clotting. Also, inflammation, where cells come together during wound healing, of which inflammation is an intimate part. Then we have CAMs, or cell adhesion molecules. The first ones, and perhaps most well known, are neural CAMs, or neural cell adhesion molecules, called NCAMs for short. So we'll take a look at those. And what you saw was the appearance of two of them on two different cells, and they're coming together by virtue of the amino terminal domains at the end of each. This association doesn't depend on calcium. Neural cell adhesion molecules, as you might guess, will mediate neural connections, that is the uh, attachment of nerve cells to one another. The domain that actually causes them to attach are found in other kinds of proteins, specifically immune molecules, Im uh, IgGs, immunoglobulins, which, which are antibody molecules. It's just interesting that immunoglobulins or antibody molecules that evolved to recognize foreign substances have also been recruited and perhaps were, even before they were used as immune molecules, were part of cell-cell recognition event. So that IgG domains may be first were involved in recognizing cells that are like one another and only later became modified so that they could recognize foreign substances and deal with them effectively in our immune system. And the last uh, category of molecules I want to talk about briefly are cadherins. They're called cadherins because they involve cell-cell recognition and adhesion. And the C stands for the fact that these are calcium dependent again. And they mediate cell-cell recognition and tissue formation, much like the other ones on this slide.